Hi, my name is Whitney Thompson and I'd like to welcome you to my Kirby Kitchen. Today we're going to be making peanut butter cookies. Super, super simple. There's absolutely no excuse to ever not make peanut butter cookies from scratch, okay? You only need a few ingredients. You don't even need flour or butter. It's so easy. Stay with me here, okay? <laughs> Alright, so I've got my bowl here. Um, you can use any kind of peanut butter. I prefer crunchy. Go ahead and preheat your oven, by the way, to 350. Mine's already preheated. Now, like I said, you can use any kind of peanut butter. We have a company in New York City called Peanut Butter Co. And it is out of this world. They make dark chocolate peanut butter. They make white chocolate. They make spicy peanut butter. All crazy flavors that are amazing uh, if for making peanut butter cookies. But I usually save that for like my peanut butter toast and since I'm adding stuff to my cookies I just use what I call ghetto butter uh, any kind of <laughs> cheap peanut butter you can find it does not matter low quality is totally fine because you're adding stuff to it anyways to make it taste better so you take your peanut butter and empty it into your bowl small container is just fine it's kind of a pain I haven't found an easier way to take your peanut butter out yet so I know my basset hound really enjoys <laughs> licking the uh, empty container when it's done, so it will not go to waste whatever is left in here. So I use crunchy peanut butter because I like the consistency. It's good in a cookie. It's nice to have a little extra crunch. And it looks pretty. It makes people aware there are peanuts in this. You don't want anyone going into anaphylactic shock because of your cooking. Trust me, that is not a good thing. <laughs> so I've got my peanut butter in the bowl. Just peanut butter, doesn't look good. And I'm going to add two cups of sugar, just plain old white sugar. If you usually bake, you know this is sort of like the process of creaming butter. You got the butter, you got the sugar, um, only it's peanut butter. And now, you just have to mix it together. So I have my uh, mixing stand and I'm just going to turn that on. And while that mixes, I'm going to grab a couple eggs out of the refrigerator. You need two eggs and I'm going to go ahead and crack them in. If you're only using the three ingredient recipe, you can stop here. All you have to put in sugar and eggs and you're going to bring out a really good cookie, okay? So super simple. If that's all you have in the house, go ahead and make your cookies that way. But I like my cookies to be a little fluffier. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of baking powder into my cookie. One teaspoon. And I'm also going to put a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So one teaspoon of vanilla, not necessary, but I think it makes them taste better. And I like to put a little dash of salt too. You know, salt brings out everything's flavor a little bit more. And so just a little, measured out in your hand, dash of salt. It's really going to bring out the vanilla and the peanut butter. <laughs> you can't mess up these cookies, I swear. They're the easiest thing. Like I said, no excuse to ever use a bag of cookie mix. These are amazing. And look, you only need three ingredients. I know, I'm stressing it, but I'm telling you, once you bake from scratch, you really can't go back. I mean, the flavor is so much better. So much better. And you're missing all those chemicals and all the weird stuff that who knows is putting in your cookie mix. Um, when you make it yourself, you're much more aware. So bake from scratch if you can. It's not as scary as it sounds. I'm going to finish by mixing this by hand. I want to make sure you get all the stuff at the bottom mixed in. Now, if you want just plain peanut butter cookies, you're done. Pop these bad boys in the oven. But I, uh, I prefer to add a little color to my cookie. So I like to put in an M&M or Reese's Pieces or... Um, Peanut butter M&Ms are super good. Today, I think I'm gonna do Reese's Pieces because my dad doesn't eat chocolate. So I bought a bag of Reese's Pieces minis. I'm going to add to my cookies. 
And like I said, it gives it a little punch of color. You don't want someone to look at your cookie and think it's a sugar cookie or mistake it for a, I don't know, whatever other kind of cookies there are. They all kind of look the same. So I put most of the bag in. They usually call for about a cup, but I live life on the edge. These look great. Ooh, I love peanut butter. Don't you? So good. All right, now I need to pull out my cookie sheet because I'm a procrastinator and I haven't done that yet. So my trick when I'm baking cookies, especially if I only have one cookie sheet or I don't feel like getting a bunch of them dirty, you just use foil on the sheet. So instead of using pan or something like that, I'll put down some foil wrap, like so. And um, what this does is you can use the same sheet over and over. I feel like I'm getting a tan. Oh, look at my lighting. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> um, sorry. Focus. <clears throat> you can use this over and over again. So when my cookies come out, I can just take this sheet up, move it over to my cooling rack, put another sheet of foil down, cookies on that, pop them right back in the oven. So it really cuts down your time because you don't have to wait for your cookies to cool. So I'm going to use uh, an ice cream scoop that I always use. And it has the automatic thing that gets the cookie dough out, but you can just use your hands or a spoon or I don't know what, um, whatever your heart desires at this point. I mean, go crazy, get creative. No, that's stupid. Just use a spoon if you don't have an ice cream. So this obviously saves me from having to get my fingers dirty. Though it's just peanut butter, so you can always lick it off, right? On this show, I tell you how to become plus size. <laughs> These are the easiest cookies in the world. I make them all the time. And you know, you think, when you're having a hankering for something sweet, um, that you have to have flour, butter, all these things in the house, but this is one of those recipes that you can make really last minute and just put it together. And what's nice about it, especially if it's like that time of the month, um, is that the peanut butter is just, it's a little bit sweet and salty. So it's kind of perfect. So these look great. And they are going to smush down and out as I bake them. But yeah, make sure they're all a good shape. Pretty. All right, now I'm gonna pop them in the oven. It's really important to check whatever you're baking often. So I'm putting these in for nine minutes because I'm familiar with this cookie. I know wherever I am in the world, they bake from 10 to 14 minutes. So I set the timer a little bit early, so I'll go in and peek through the glass, see how they're doing, and maybe add a couple more minutes, maybe take them out then. Uh, it's not really rocket science, it's just you really have to pay attention. And I think once you get that down, baking's a lot easier. So, prioritize. Put the cookies first. It's important. I have the laziest basset hound in the world. Literally. And that's hard to do naturally lazy but mine is particularly a lazy dog do you want it do you want it yes you do my hope is to get more people cooking from scratch nowadays we've gotten so used to cooking funfetti cakes and whatever's you know a, a box of cake mix and you add a couple eggs and pop it in the oven we call that from scratch like I baked you a cake that that is not baking. <laughs> baking is a good place to start. And it's a real people pleaser. You can bring it to parties. You can bring it to set with you. Um, I mean, who doesn't like cookies or a cake? And there's always someone with a birthday. So you can always pretend like, I totally knew it was your birthday. And that's why I baked a cake. Definitely done that a few times. But it's good. People like you if you bake them cakes. It's a fact. Totally science. I read it in a book. So while the cookies are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and um, make sure the dough's not poisonous. I know people are always like, Whitney, you're always putting yourself before other people. 
poison testing the cookies and I'm like, I know, it's just, that's just how I am. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're so good. Dude, the Reese's Pieces. I'm talking with my mouth full here. That tastes like the 90s to me. <clears throat> Reminds me of E.T. Elliot. One more piece, just to be safe. I mean, just the dough. Oh, it was so good. And like I said, the consistency of the crunchy peanut butter, that is amazing. Cookies are done. Oh, they're beautiful. I love the caramely color. Let's have a bite. This is still hot. Shut the front door. That is a good cookie. That is a great cookie. <laughs> Once again, my name is Whitney Thompson. Thank you for joining me in my curvy kitchen. And if you don't have an oven, you can just eat the dough. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>